I'll have to murder this guy. Shook the poop. I'll lure him away from... Or lure him towards me. Don't you dare take my items. Diagro it. No! 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 Where to go? Okay, I diagroed it. Okay, good. I lost some mushrooms though. I think. Damn it! I hate this game. So there's a lot of items near where the monkeys are, um, so I'm gonna go over there and pick them up eventually. I gotta be careful not to run into monkeys. Just cook everything. Did the light go out? Oh my god, they fixed the bug then. Let me let me relog and see if it actually did go out for good. Oh no, they didn't. Of course not as clay. Why would they ever fix bugs? It's not even a joke. They're so busy releasing Don't Starve on like 5 billion different platforms. They don't even bother fixing the bugs that have been in the game for so long. Though this one I wouldn't want them to fix because it's more convenient this way. Oh crap, I got rid of the mushrooms, didn't I? I'm stupid. Oh well. Fine, 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 fine. You got me there. Let's drop the bee over here. Should have done this a long time ago. I think I'm going to move some of the petals to this side. I picked that one up because if I didn't, the bees would actually aggro onto me eventually. Because they're going to come over here and try and um, pollinate those flowers. And then after they pollinate the flowers, then, well, I'm the closest target, right? So they're gonna run around. And it's spring, so they're aggro on me. Let's make one of these. One, two, three, four, five. And let's make a bunch of turf. Finish taking this up. So this will be my little safety zone for the time being. I just save seeds. I have a bad habit of eating seeds. If I see a seed, I'm going to eat it. Okay, so what do I want to do right now? There are some more mushrooms here. So the mush trees don't actually affect the mushroom spawn. You can pick them again whenever. That's more sanity for sustain. And because this is monsoon season, uh, what's going to happen is the mushrooms will respawn much faster than normal. And I'll have even more mushrooms to get to eat. So 
Let's remove this pest first. What should I do? I want to make another one of these ice boxes, but I also want to make other stuff. Let's start making different items then for summer. I know it, it's like not even halfway through the season, but now is a good time to start thinking about summer, even though it seems early. So what's going to happen is, on my way to this island, I'm going to actually grab some niter and bring the niter back. This thing here will be ready, so I'm going to make some drying racks. That means I need to make a fire right now and burn those trees up in the north. Grab the basic resources, make a torch, kill this stupid thing. I don't want to burn the big trees. That's, that's, yeah, I want to keep these big ones for resources. I'm going to chop these down. And then summer preparation will begin very soon. I'm gonna need some kind of uh I'm gonna need a lot of ice, first of all. Um if you were like I wasn't ready for I wasn't prepared well enough, I should say, for the, for the hurricane season. Um but if I actually did prep a lot, what would happen was would be uh I'd have a lot of ice left over from that season because you get so much hail everywhere. And then you can use that ice in summer, but because I didn't prepare well enough. Um, I actually wasted a lot of the ice and didn't have time to pick up all the hail from the ground. I have a bunch of ice here, so a bunch of hail here, but that's, that's not that much. Drying racks, let's just place one now. So because this will be a short-term game, I think three crockpots will be more than enough. So I'll just put a drying rack here. And once I get the pig farm running, I'll probably put the pigs around here, move the spiders all the way down here, kill these guys. And that should be good enough. Uh, the monkeys here will die. The spiders here will be down here. The pigs will be closer to my base, but far enough so they don't actually aggro me during the full moon. Um, and then I'll put the monkey farm in this corner, probably. And if I ever need monkey stuff, that's where I'll get it. I think I'm going to be making a trawl net, too, because I haven't found the octopus yet. The trawl net is extremely powerful. Uh, but it's kind of expensive, if I recall correctly. I haven't made one in so long. It's a little bit expensive because it takes bamboo, and bamboo is a resource that I don't like to farm because I don't like to make machetes. So I guess that's kind of my problem. It's a personal problem. Alright, let's turn this gear into another icebox. So I'll put the turf in there, move the scary stuff down here. Oh, these are all large trees, aren't they? Oh my god, what a waste. I guess I don't need charcoal yet. I need logs more than charcoal, so I'll just chop these down. I'll plant more later.
Wait, I can use the boat cannon, right? Oh, but I need a fling if I use the boat cannon because it lights it on fire. Damn. I'm not I'm not quite there yet, huh? I need more gears. Um, roughly around this season or the next season, that's when you'll start getting more floaty boaties attacking your base. Uh, right now, the only ones at the moment are down here, so I'm probably gonna pick up more gears on the way there, on the way back. Got 2% spear. I'm going to turn this into an ice staff. But I need magic for that, so I need a pirate hat for that. What do I need to make a pirate hat? Bone shards? Seaweed? Is it bone shards, seaweed, rope? If I recall correctly? Let's see if that's actually what it is. Then I need a, a, a parrot to make the hat machine. I'll make two or three of these. Oh, it's silk. Seaweed is the other one. It's good for exploring. Just dump this in here. Too lazy to get more. Alright, let's make these boards first. I'm, I'm all over the place right now. This is just how I work, I guess. I think of like 50 different things to do, and then I work on all of them at once, whenever I can. I'm surprised the rain hasn't started yet, which kind of scares me, because it tells me that there's a very high likelihood of the rain just instantly flooding the entire place. Which will make it really annoying to navigate the area, because the water you can't get rid of. You can stop the flooding from expanding by putting um, a sandbag in the middle of the flood. Or you can stop the flooding in general by just having this kind of flooring. Man-made turf. But the issue is that it, you need a lot of it. I'm going to need gold too. Uh, let's make a golden axe for now. I guess I'll make a golden shovel too. So that's all my gold. And then tomorrow I'm going to leave. I've been saying I'm going to leave for like the last four days or so. But uh, tomorrow is a pretty good day because I'm almost done this stuff. Very, very close to being done. Yeah, so this character's sanity is, is pretty irritating to deal with. The fact that you lose so much sanity on land. I mean, I can't sit in here, otherwise I have to use boat durability. So I have to stay on land. So you actually need a lot of sanity regen. Um, so having a monkey farm early would be a good idea on this character. I'm, I'm using mushrooms, because they take less preparation. Even though they're not as good as monkey farms, uh, the preparation aspect is it's what's putting me off at the moment because I'm so behind. I'm still playing catch up because of all the mistakes I made in the early game. In the early, early, early game, I should say. So I'm not going to use the spear. The spear will turn into an ice staff. And the ice staff is just a really strong, versatile... No. No, that's mine. A very strong, versatile item that you can use for many, many things. Kidding me, right?
God damn it. Pests. They're all pests. Stupid pests. Okay, what was I talking about? I can't remember now. That kind of caught me off guard. These hound waves are so frequent for the early game. This is very irregular. It should be what? Like every 4 to 10 days right now? It's literally like 4 day, 4 day right now. Um, and usually you don't run into this kind of frequency until after day 100 when it's every 3 to 7 days. So on average after day 100 you're, you're going to be getting hound waves every like 4 and a half days. So that's when you should be seeing this kind of frequency. Not now. It's too early for that. 